welcome to Benjamin TV. Today we're in Hawaii and we're on the beautiful island of Kauai and I went to the farmer's market and I bought all these exotic fruits, some that I've had, some that I haven't and I want to share them with you. And we'll just start right away with jackfruit. Now I've had jackfruit before in the Philippines. I loved it. Um, I was surprised to see it. I know it looks a little intimidating, but it really isn't. You just cut this in half and you pick out little pieces of the fruit. This is just about ripe. I'll probably cut it tomorrow, but if I do, I'll take video of it. Um, it's delicious. You uh, Filipinos like to put it into desserts, but I really like it when it's fresh. Um, so this is a treat to have a whole thing. And this only costs $10, which is pretty cheap. Um, got a pineapple. Obviously, Hawaii is known for their pineapples. This is ready to go. I could probably cut this open. It's good, um, but I'm going to let it get a little bit more ripe. Um, obviously, pineapples are just delicious. Um, spinach. Now, this spinach right here is interesting because I've never seen spinach like it. It's like on long stalks, and uh, the leaves are going up to stalks. Usually, one stalk has one leaf, um, in my experience. So this is kind of something new. I've never uh, eaten it, so I'll eat that with salads. This is actually already eaten. Uh, I drank uh, coconut water out of this, and they were just selling this. This was four bucks, uh, which is kind of expensive. Got some tomatoes uh, in Washington. They're totally out of season. The heat here enables them to actually have tomatoes probably all year long, if not most. You want some more of that? Here, look, I got, got another one for you. She's my assistant today. Mom, what is this called? Atis. At atis. So in the Philippines, they call this atis, and uh, yeah, in English, it's custard apple. I've never had this before. I did taste it though. At the, a lot of seeds. Yeah, she gave me some of it. Um, it's very similar to cacao, a little bit. You know? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, inside, um, it's all these seeds, and around the seeds are all these uh, like little gooey membrane, but it's very sweet, very good. Judy, she really wanted this. This is um, star fruit right here, and in fact, I'll cut it. Uh, the name is pretty obvious why they named this star fruit, but I'll show you why. Bam. Shape of a star. Now, I haven't washed this yet, but I'll just take a little bite. Mmm, it's so good. So juicy. You can see how much juice comes out of this thing, so. Actually, I'll give a little bit of this to uh, Juliana a little bit later. I'm actually not very familiar with this, but the guy said you can steep tea out of this. This is actually called Jamaica, and you can steep tea out of it. Uh, I don't know if you can eat it or not, but I'm going to try it. I've never had it before. Of course, mangoes. Supposedly, mangoes are at the end of their season right now, and these guys are green, but they're actually good to go. Um, the guy said don't wait for them to turn red or another color. Uh, just once they're slightly soft and you can kind of smell them, they're going to be good to go. He, uh, let's see, what else I got? I got some lemons, just general stuff I'm going to um, use later. L lime. Uh, Mom, what is this called again? Rambutan. Rambutan. Now, I didn't buy this from the farmer's market, but Mom got it from Costco, funny enough. I've had this before, and what you do is it's very spiny looking but you just go ahead and break that open. Bam, and then you get this, I don't know, it's like a grape texture, and in the middle is a seed. Look, like Juliana's like, awesome. And then there's that seed in the middle. I'll give Juliana a little bit. Yes, she likes it. She'll, she likes everything. There you go, and there's a seed you have to spit out. There you go, little one. Oranges. Now this is another thing that's new to me, just like the mangoes. We're so used to oranges being orange, right? Like that's when you know it's ready. But here in Hawaii, a lot of fruits, they're not necessarily the color um, that you would think they're. These are actually ready to go. So <laughs> tangerines, right here, dragon fruit. Now mom, do you know about I these? I haven't tried these. You haven't tried these? Dragon fruit. Uh, this is actually new to me. I, I don't. I think I have tried it. Like at a fancy restaurant, or like maybe when I was in Hawaii uh, for my honeymoon, they might have had it like on a fruit platter. I'm gonna open it up for you because it's very deceiving. You think that this was like a deep red so color? They said it's ready to eat. Yeah, they said this is good to go. When you break this open, look at that. Is that cool? Oh. Yeah. Look like kiwi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, you're right. It's kind of like a kiwi. There you go. I just cut out a section. 
very similar to kiwi. I mean, even Does the flavor. Like yeah, it tastes like it too. Got the strawberry papaya. Now, oh, they call it strawberry papaya. Yeah, they call it strawberry papaya oh. for obvious reasons, I'm assuming, because Must it's be. red inside. I've never had one of these. I might have had one of these, like, on, again, on another tropical fruit platter, but I'm going to go ahead and cut into this for you guys. Oh yeah, so it's not quite red. I actually have had this before, but I didn't know that it was a strawberry pi pina oh, papaya. Let's just go ahead and taste this puppet. It's like your sanded papaya. <laughs> you want some of that, don't you? I'm gonna give you some of that, don't worry, okay? Alright, so we had that. Last thing, I believe, right here. Now this is very interesting. I'm really excited to eat it. This is what you would call an ice cream banana. The, the, uh, the size is different. It's thick and even the, uh, the, the firmness of it is a little different. It's definitely ripe. Mom, you said they I'm have so these. Excited to cook. Yeah, you, they have these in the Philippines, right? The lady so said... Call it pear banana. Oh, they said that I could eat it raw. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, it's very mushy, first off. Mmm, mmm, that, that is quite different from your typical banana. So that's a cooking banana. Mom, this is so good. You Maybe want to try it's some? like plantain, plantain banana. I've had plantains before. You couldn't really eat them raw and enjoy them like this. This, she said one reason it's called ice cream banana is because it's creamier. Mmm, man, I can, I can eat a lot of those. And Juliana was so well behaved. I mean, she barely nibbled on her banana there. You got anything to say to the people? Hi, guys. Say hi, guys. Juliana. How old is Juliana? How old is Juliana? Oh, she wants a star fruit. So that was my farmer's market haul of Kauai's farmer's market, which I thoroughly enjoyed and I can't wait to come back one day. I will be eating all these fruits and if for some reason I don't, I know that my friends Raw Bras are going to definitely uh, eat it up. So uh, make sure you uh, click like if you like this video you want me to do more of these and comment below about what you want to see on my channel. Uh, make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching. Say bye guys! <laughs>